Hi guys, Adam here, and welcome back to the video at Ends Toyland. And welcome to the 25th episode of Predator vs. Prey. And this episode is going to be hosted by Liberty. Hi guys. Okay, before this episode starts, <laughs> yeah, I would like to <laughs> give the heads up of like, <laughs> this is not a Halloween episode, but <laughs> one of the animals in today's episode is does <laughs> have does have to do with Halloween. Okay, Liberty. <laughs> Let's reveal the animals that are going to be in this episode today. Sounds good. All right, on the predator side, we have the tarantula. Cool. <laughs> awesome. And on the prey side, we have the scorpion. Also cool. Okay, Liberty. Let's go over the predatory strategies of the tarantula and the defense mechanisms of the scorpion. Sounds good. All right, so, <laughs> unlike most spider species, tarantulas can't build webs. Instead, they actually grab their prey with their legs, inject them with paralyzing venom, <laughs> and then bite the and then bite their prey with their fangs. And then <laughs> The defense mechanisms of the scorpion are its venomous sting and its pinchers, a.k.a. its pedipalps. Hi, Liberty. Hey, Marshall. Uh, Marshall, look out. Huh? What? Whoa! I'm okay. Ah, uh, that clumsy pup. Um, Adam, good thing Rubble is not in this episode. <laughs> Uh, I agree with Liberty. <laughs> Knowing Rubble, he is actually afraid of spiders. Yep, and I think it was a wise choice not to put him in this episode. Uh-huh. The tarantula <laughs> was the animal that had to do with Halloween in the, like, mini disclaimer of this episode, actually. <laughs> yep. And the reason why this is not a Halloween episode is because I did a Halloween-themed Predator vs. Prey episode last Halloween in 2023. Alright, so... <laughs> the future of this YouTube channel is very bright. So, <laughs> more Predator vs. Prey episodes on the way. <laughs> a new batch of Ruthie and Cooper <laughs> picture videos are coming soon. <laughs> a brand new Plants vs. Zombies 2... <laughs> Yep. Miniseries is coming soon, and <laughs> a bunch of other stuff is coming soon, too. So stay tuned. Alright, time for one fact about the scorpion and one fact about the tarantula. Alright, so, <laughs> here is one easy way to, <laughs> yeah, figure out if the scorpion species that you found has more potent venom or least po or not potent venom. So, mild venom, if you will. All right, so if the scorpion species has large pedipalps, these are, which are the pincer-like claws on the front of the scorpion, when those are large, the, pen the venom is not as potent. But, however, if the scorpion's pedipalps are smaller, then the venom is more potent. All right, so moving on to the, on to the tarantula. <laughs> I almost called it a scorpion by mistake. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> there is absolutely no... <laughs> there is absolutely no record of human deaths by resulting a from a tarantula bite. So basically... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... These spiders may not be big, but, well, these spot. let me rephrase that. <laughs> these spiders may be big, but they're absolutely harmless to humans. Yeah, so no human has ever been known to die of a tarantula bite, but, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when tarantulas are alarmed, however, <laughs> they rub the, the hairs on their abdomens to release urticating hairs, which are irritating to the skin. Okay, Liberty. <laughs> I think that's it for today's episode. So, do you have anything else to say before I close out the episode? 
Um, I don't think so, Adam. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please click the like button down below and to subscribe, click on the picture of Pollen <laughs> to subscribe to this channel. Oh, one more thing. Stay loving the Predator vs. Prey series. See you later. Bye. Yeah. Have you ever had a scorpion crawl over you? <laughs> I haven't before. All right. Later, guys.